have confidence in myself, it's like I started paying attention to my interactions and who's interacting with me. Yeah. And at what point in time and why and how and shit. <laughs> and we are live. We live again. Yes. Live again. Get it. Live again. <laughs> Back again. Got my big brother in the building, Ev. Evan, y'all yeah, know him. Elite Wide Receiver Academy in, in the, the building. building. In the building. Evan Graham is in the building tonight. Evan Graham is in the building. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. You know what I mean? I've been trying to, yeah, I, I mean, I'm so happy you came down. You got two dark skinned men in the same room on one accord. Beautiful. Saving the fucking world tonight. We're you, saving the fucking world tonight. Do you see those? You see those topics? You don't get those. You don't get those from these guys. You don't get those from these guys. But yo, shout out to y'all. How y'all feeling tonight? How's your night going? I hope it's wonderful. I hope it's beautiful. You staying healthy. I hope you staying creative. Staying elemental. Staying motivated. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hope That's everybody staying staying well. Yes, keeping your keeping your sanity, keeping your health, and we're gonna talk about some positive things tonight. We're not gonna hold you in no bullshit tonight. It's all positive vibes and brainstorming on how to get more positive. Yes. yes. Yeah. And you do know that. <laughs> you know this. So, <laughs> yo, so, you know how we start off though. Everybody, make sure y'all comment. All comments will be left. <laughs> All comments will be read live on air. So y'all can comment. We're going to read your comment. You know how we do. But starting off, how was your week, though, bro? Hey, my week's been good, yo. My week's been good. You know, I'm preparing for my summer sessions coming up. But um, Oh, yeah? Yep, yo. Starting off uh, next week. Going from, you know, May, June, and July. Three days a week. You know, but just this, this, a lot of positive energy. You know what I mean? This last week, okay, Com coming from like a negative mindset, almost. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Like trying to figure it out, but like it's just a feeling. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Perspective, but like good, trying to good, get the business mean? off the ground exactly. and just get everything. I, yeah. To, yeah it can be it can be daunting when you're yeah. starting off. Big time. The coordination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So shout out to y'all. I want to let y'all know if y'all have young men in your family or young women that would like to come get some training. Tell them what you do. You run a so you run a elite wide receiver academy. Tell them tell them about the academy. Tell the so, people about it. All right, uh, elite receiver academy. I started this in 2018. Uh, you know that's my passion, my love, and it's football. One of my loves, anyway. One of my passions. Um, but basically, like I was born and raised in Springfield, high school went to you know Central 2007 uh, with the AIC. You know played football but it's like i want to give back to the community that's what my mindset was when i created this mm. I mean, very passionate and it's like and it's precise stuff it's not just generic drills you know i want i want to be able to see a kid develop from nothing you know, mm. bambi legs to you know what i mean a giraffe strong you know what i mean like so it's like that's where that my mindset is coming from like mm. i don't want to get top notch like i do want to get some top notch kids i know that but i for the most part like I want kids that don't know nothing about it. Yeah, kind of awkward. You know they I mean? take them in and raise them and up see, to the next and level. That's the growth. Yeah. And, and 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 most importantly is when I when they see the growth. Yeah, that's what hit, that gets me the most. Instilling you know I mean? confidence in the youth, exactly, and you know giving them I mean? some new skills right. to be you know nicer. I mean? So it's so it's specifically just the receiving aspect of the game, or do you teach them different aspects about football, other aspects? Of um, it? yeah, right now it's like to start off. I, I had to, I'm keeping it with the receiver lane, you know. Um, okay, okay. You know, Incorporate a couple like some speed training, you know, um, weight lifting and things like that, and like I. Obviously, I'm mentoring. I'm talking about like their grades and stuff like uh, that. Mentorship, you know. Yep. Like, if you don't got the yep. grades and this shit right here, we're doing is not even worth it. You know, right, it's right. It's kind of things like that. And I'm uh, not saying per se being a father figure, but just like a positive role male influence. Right, lives. exactly. Yes. Because a lot of some of the kids I got, they're going, they're going through their own things too. And yeah, then, yeah. It's just positive. And I tell them, uh, like, yo, sometimes I'll be down on my spirits or myself, and then coming to my trainings, yep. seeing you guys develop, seeing you guys how you, you know, walking away with a smile on your face. That you know, what I mean, does something to me. I, you, he's, you he's been walking away like, yeah, you know I mean? big smile, like I'm doing this the right way. You yeah. Know what I mean? 
yeah. do something right positive, you know, for the community, anything like that. So yes, yes, wow, wow. So I hope y'all heard that. If y'all got some youngsters, y'all got some young men that would that need some training that that would like to learn different aspects about the receiving. Different aspects about playing football. Hit my man Ev up. Elite Wide Receiver Academy. You can look him up on Google. You can Google it. Elite WR Academy. And he's currently taking slots. Got a few slots open. Um, On the webpage too. So, you know, we promote business, especially black business, on the Glass Table Show. So, again, any opportunities that you you want to plug in to Ev, just let us know. I'm. Mean, I see we got a couple comments already, but I'm gonna read a couple of these comments. Richard Scott. Oh, oh, my brother, waiting on my invite. Oh, it's all yours. Anytime you want to come down, come on. Don't do me like that, Dick. You know you got it. Anytime you want to come down, cut it. It's yours, brother. I, I'm honored. I'm honored, brother. I got your edible. I got your eatables right here, right waiting for you, bro. That's a fact. Shout out to my boy, Richard Scott. Oh man, I'm gonna keep your alias intact tonight. Sean Cien said, I'm here to troll. Let's go. Oh, yes. Sean and C's here to troll, as usual. As usual. Yes, you're here to troll. Welcome, Queen Troll. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are always welcome. You are always welcome. Trolling is nothing but love in a different way. So it's, it's always accepted and, 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 and revered. So much respect to you, Sean Cien. I see you over there in New York, too, Sean and C. You having a great time? Yeah, I see you traveling everywhere. You're traveling everywhere. Ringling Brothers and Bartima Bailey, baby. Trolling and rolling. Trolling and rolling. Hey! <laughs> Another T. That's the first T-shirt of tonight, Shaughnessy, right there. Trolling and rolling. Jerry, how you doing, Jerry? Oh, yes, trolling and rolling. How you doing, Jerry? Welcome. Welcome. Jerry's in the building. Oh, I, I'm so happy to have you here. Christy Williams. Oh, Crip. What's good, Crip? Stanley. Oh, you remember that? Oh, man, and I'm with Ev, too. That's so crazy. That That's the Pine Point. That's the Pine Point connection. And, yes, he said Stanley. You know, remember? You remember that shit? Crip, that was years ago. Remember? Stanley. That's the Blues era. Wow. Crip just brought it back. Why do I keep getting reminded of super old shit today? I got reminded by, by, uh, by Dennis about the Grim Reaper bong I used to have. I used to have a Grim Reaper bong. You know, because I got stories for y'all and shit. I used to have this bong. You couldn't see the smoke inside when you hit it. So you always take too much smoke. And it was in the shape of a Grim Reaper. I got it from uh, over there at the smoke shop when it was in Phil, when we was illegal in Massachusetts. And you couldn't even sell bongs and shit. Remember? Anybody remember that? Couldn't go in the store. Now the A-Rab's got everything stocked to the top. To you go, go in, the, in the A-Rab store and buy some damn weed. You know what I mean? They got everything. Shout out to you, Crip. Shaughnessy, that's a fact. Everything for the you. Same here. Yeah. Shout out to Shaughnessy also. Shout out to you because she got me involved and she gave me an opportunity to go speak to the um the youth down at the Ethnic Study. Shout out to the okay. Ethnic Study, right. Stephanie Marshall and Sambrick Paskins. I thought I hope I'm saying it right. Sambrick Paskins and Steph. I love the Ethnic Study. I love the Ethnic Study. I love the Ethnic Study. Thank you, Shaughnessy, for the opportunity. And I'm always down to support anything you need. You don't got to pay me. Tell me what you need. We'll put it together. We did another one too, didn't we? We did another one. And wow, yeah, me and her did another um another painting session at the Wild Wow for the children too. So yeah, Shaughnessy's always always big enough the youth, and That's you're good. always have the youth in mind, and you're always giving back by helping the youth. We need more of that. So the, I have to give we you your flowers, Shaughnessy. We yes, need more of that. shout out to Shaughnessy. Yes, shout out to Shaughnessy. Yes, Go on the glass table, show. Yeah. Because you're getting love bombed. If you're coming in the room, you're getting love bombed. It's raining outside. I'm alive and he's alive and you're alive. So why shouldn't there be some love in your heart? It wasn't made in the image of fear. So can we big each other up right now in a room? Let's go to, let's have, let's have positive church. Let's have positive <laughs> church. Can the church say amen? Amen. Shaughnessy said, got to show my mini me some things. Yeah. Greatest mom ever. Greatest mom ever. Yeah. You're showing her the world and her smile shows, shows it too. Because she's always smiling. Every time I see your daughter, she's always smiling. In the pictures. I haven't seen her in person, but every time I see her, she's smiling. Beautiful smile. Beautiful Boy. smile. Like that profile picture, too. Yeah, Chris said, that's a classic. Yeah, yeah, Crip. That was a classic, bro. That was back when back when your man mm-hmm. here, Mark Austin, was Stanley Ella. Remember that? Mark Austin was Stan Ella. I went through, I went through <laughs> revolutions. And I brought... 
a CD up to the barbershop where dude, your man right now, if you don't know this man, he cuts gray hair, Chris D. Williams. I went to the barbershop called Exclusives up in Pine Point where I lived, and I brought some music, and half the barbershop said, you got to get that shit the fuck out of here. You got to go back to the drawing board, get your shit right before you bring it out the house. Because they were old, they're, they're hip hop aficionados. Yeah. So when I brought the music to them, they was like, yo, what are you doing with this shit? I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But Crip always said that he fucked with the song Stanley. He always told me that he fucked with that song. Shout out to you, Crip. You always been a supporter. You my OG, man. You, you know how we do it. We go too far back. You knew me when I was. First came to fucking Springfield. When I came from Florida, Crib knew me. I was little. Crib, that's that's you like my uncle, Crib. Cut it out. Mike Gibbs said, don't work in the background, bro. Oh, I appreciate that. Mike Gibbs, shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you, and I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Thank you. Uh, yo, let me know however you want me to get them that money to you for the shirts. I'm buy one shirt for me, and I'm going to buy one for my son. I'll pay your asking price. No issue. Just let me know how to send the money. Um, you know, inbox me. You know, we'll, we'll talk off camera, but just inbox me, bro. I got you. I, I'm still, I'm taking them shirts off your hands. Every time you come out with a new design, let me know. I want to be the first to purchase it. That's a fact. And shout out to my, shout out to, shout out to Mike Gibbs, also known as Mike Neef. Nasty with the music. Mike Neef, I'm sorry, not nasty with the music. Said he said, what about the one you had covered in the Black Electrician's tape? Oh yeah, Sadie. You remember that ball? <laughs> That's the one I the was blue barrel, oh, the shit. blue barrel <laughs> that it. Yo, remember the it blue broke. barrel? Say, say, say! Why did you just say that, nigga? Yo, you better stop taking me down memory lane, my nigga. That's how I know my birthday was a day. Third time. I had this ball, right? I had went back to college. I went to Daytona. It's like 2000, 2001. I had went back to Daytona at my hometown because I was born in Daytona. I don't know a lot. A lot of you know that I was born in Florida. And I had bought a bong from there from the beach side. Then I was like, how am I going to get this shit back on the airplane? This is back in 2001. It's like 20 years ago. I thought I was about to go to jail. So I took it apart, put the bowl on my keychain, and put the acrylic tube in my carry-on and got the bong back home. So when I got the bong back home, I'm smoking in my car outside my mom's crib up at Pine Point on Warrington Street. I went in the house earlier, but the alarm went off. I guess the alarm was on too long. Some, they automatically call the cops. So as I'm coming out the car smoking and in the garage, the cops roll up on me, like, put me in handcuffs, down. Going down. and make me bring me in the house and make me show them my ID and my wallet to make sure I wasn't breaking in. But on his way out, he broke my bong. He found my bong next to the next on the floor. He picked it up and broke it at my house. I'm at my down. house. <laughs> so as the alarm went off, I told my mom not to get that fucking alarm. The alarm went off. I put the code in too late. They called the cops automatically. The cops came, almost arrested me for smoking weed at my house, and they broke my bong. So when Seti saw it, it had black tape on it. Because I had taped that bitch back together because I was like, fuck that. I brought that shit from Florida. The niggas ain't breaking my shit. The shout out to Seti for bringing that story out of me. I'm sorry, y'all. Shawty C said, you've been holding me down. I appreciate you so much. Oh, that's a Fendi. You got it. You got it. Always. Loyalty is definitely in you, not on you. That's a fact. So you already know anytime, anytime. You holding me down too. You so threw me mad opportunities. You know what I mean? So shout out to you. That's a fact. Jerry said, lots of peace and love to Shauna C. Ann. Always showing the kids some love. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Word for weight and gold. Words are worth for weight and gold. Cedric Graham said, preach, preacher. <laughs> you remember that shit, Seti? Yo, cut it out, Seti. Cut it out. You going too far back. Yeah, Graham. <laughs> Chris with the man. Yeah, they laughed me out of the barbershop. They, I brought a, imagine you got a barbershop. Well, you got Corona now, but imagine you, you that was where you got your music cleared. If it could rock right, in the barbershop, right. yeah. then it could rock. You see what I'm saying? So when they put it in, they blasted it. And it, it, you know, I was a little wild at the time. I still got that shit, crap. I still got like that, that music. Anymore? Are they a staple like the community? Like, you know what I mean? Or just like, Ooh, you know? I don't know. That's a good question. I haven't been to a barbershop in years. I haven't been to a barbershop in a while either. But do I don't know if people bring their music up to them. I just play, they just play it online now and shit. Oh, like community spots, like you send your kids over there type shit. You ain't got yeah. to worry about nothing. Yeah. Justin. Oh, what up, Justin? What's good, DJ Anonis? I got to talk to you behind the scenes, bro. I'm going to need your DJing skills. I'm throwing a party here at the studio. We're going to throw a, um, a spray and jam where we setting up some things in the back where we're going to be doing live graffiti artists, live painting. I would love for you to come down. I'll pay your price. 
and we're gonna have some some vegetarian some vegetables getting roasted but then we're gonna have a meat grill too for all y'all all y'all heavyweights but we're gonna have some yeah, vegetables heavy. roasting and uh yeah justin i'm gonna need you bro in a second that's a fact shout out to you oh he said i'm still trying to buy that marvin the martian listen if you would like to make a bid on that marvin the martian justin you know you could do it because see he's still available he's still available he's back there he's looking sexy he's pretty big though he's pretty big but you let me know if you got the space. Cedric said, yeah, the blue joint. Yeah. Said he remember the bongs. Yeah. Said he remember the bongs. Yeah. Broke it like twice, I think. Ha ha. Yes, I did, Said he. Yes, we did break that bong. I resurrected that shit. Cedric, smoking in the blue Honda. Yes, Said he. You're wow. going back, Said he. That's the You're house going of back. blues. You're going back, Said he. The house of blues, man. You're going back. You're going back, Said he. You're going back like 20 years ago, Said he, right now. You it's know you're time Honda. traveling. You used to have a blue Honda. First, I was at my mom's crib. I bought a Hyundai Elantra 88 off Anthony Edwards. Shout out to Anthony Edwards. He sold me a blue Hyundai Elantra 1988 with stick shift for $88. He sold me a car for $88. <laughs> he sold me a car for $88. I parked it in my mom's garage, came back to start it up, and the Mexicans from across the gate had stole the alternator out of it. Wow. I never drove the car. You can't make that up. Never drove the car, y'all. <laughs> That's a movie scene right there. Yeah, here. it was. So my blue, the blue Elantra would just be in the garage, and we would just go in there smoking sure. it. And smoking shit. Close the garage door, smoking the car and shit, smoking out. Remember that shit? Oh, man, Seti. Cut it out, Seti. Christy Williams said, let them know your uncle had the loudest system in the car allowed by law. Nobody could fuck with Luther in the 18 van. Yes. Yes. My, yo, yo, come on. Yo, yo, this thing is crap. Yo, you about to throw it back, crap. Crap. Come on, you got me telling stories tonight, crap. Yeah, so my uncle, this might have been, well, what was it, crap? 88? 89? Was it 89? Or was it 87? I can't remember the year. I just remember I was little. Was it 90? I don't know. 91? Anyway, it was early 90s, late 80s. My uncles, I had two uncles that would come from they, from where we was at, Florida, and they would come up here, uh, you know, to, to do their little thing. You know what I mean? Everybody in the 80s sold crack or coke or did something, okay, right? So he was back. That's how, that's how they was rolling, right? So he had this sister, he had this truck that he had built, and he had, I think, like maybe 10, between 10 and 20, 12 inch speakers in his truck. So the whole truck was basically a speaker. It was all different types of speakers. He had a second alternator, a second battery, and a little switch underneath Damn. the steering wheel. So it was a down south ghetto blaster second system in a GMC van. The amp, he had his amp. Yeah, see, so he had like five amps. So when he would turn it up and crank it, then you could hear that shit from two blocks. They would go park that shit on Mass Ave. You would hear that shit all the way like two blocks over. So Crip remembers that Mad shit. Crip remember. Off. Yes, he was set <laughs> alarms off. Yes, Crip remembers that shit. Wow, I remember that shit. I was little. But damn, Crip, you just took my mind back, bro. Shout out to you. Sheena Hitch, is that Evan? He probably don't remember me. We went to his elementary school. Oh, yeah. shit. Sheena, yes. Sheena, that is Evan. Yes. But elementary school? Damn, I don't remember anybody. Yeah, she probably yeah. going to remember it because she got a good memory. Sheesh. She Bill scored Bradley. you out. Well. Yes, Bill that is Bradley. Evan. That's Sheena, me. yes. Shout out to <laughs> Sheena. Shout out to Sheena Hitch on the beautiful profile pic, too. That's a fact. Wow, Curtis McTeer, my brother. Shout out to you. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. The brother, Boy, the good go. brother Golf. The good brother Golf. Shout out to you, number one father of the year. Shout out to you, number one father Yo. of the year. With them daughters you got always Runs keeping them the fly. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Shout out to Runs you, bro. You can't it's never crazy. talk down on your name, bro. Every time I see you doing something for your daughter, every single time, every single time, at a game, Sneakers, everything, just as you should. My, I respect you a lot, brother. I respect you a lot. Shout out to you. Yeah, Curtis McTerry says, shout out to Ev in the Hall of Fame. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That. Chris D. Williams, 88. It was 88. Crip, it was 88. I'm an old dog. I'm an old dog, and I can't bark no more. I'm old. It was 88, Crip. I was seven years old. I was seven. Was Dennis Daniels. Dennis <laughs> Daniels, two names. Oh, peace, peace. I like that profile pic too, bro. Yeah, shout out to you. Danny on the check. Yeah, so yo, our first topic tonight, we wanted to get into some positive self-talk tonight. Cause we don't indulge in enough of it, you know. And you gotta you gotta recognize your work when you do it. What's the first question we got is how do you motivate yourself? How do you motivate yourself? 
if you're bad, at, if you're not good at motivating yourself, you can say that too. All comments is welcome. But the first question I want to pitch to y'all tonight, how do you motivate yourself? Yeah, I tell me, how, how you motivate yourself, bro? How, how do you? Because sometimes it's hard to stay motivated when it you got is. goals and shit. But how, how do you how do you, how do you keep yourself motivated to keep going? Honestly, that's a hard, that's, there's, there's so many, yeah, I don't know, I can't even answer it. I can say, you know, my, my family, my daughter. Yes. You know what I mean? What your mind goes to, yes. You know what I mean? Uh, my passion for sports. Your passion. So your family, your mean, passion. Yep. Trying to sort of imprint what I thought I could do for myself. Yep. On others. See yeah. They can, you know what I mean, give them the blueprint and see what they can do with it. Yeah. Sort of. So inspired. Mm -hmm. So so inspiration being an inspiration. Yeah. That helps yeah. you stay motivated. Your family mm -hmm. helps you stay motivated and your Absolutely. passions. Yeah, I can agree on that. Absolutely. I can agree on that. Yeah. I like that. I like those three. What yeah. what helps y'all to stay motivated? You know, uh, what was the question I said? I said, how do you motivate yourself? That's what keeps them motivated. How do you motivate yourself when you fall into a slump and you like, damn, I got these goals or this and that? How do you motivate yourself? Do you just do you just dig deep? Do you say a prayer? Do you ask God to help you, or do you ask you do you ask Allah to come through? Like how do you how do you do it? Do you concern your deities? Do you get your ancestors? How do you motivate yourself? Or you know, for me, uh, I go off my progress, right? So like I'll look at what I how much I progressed in something. And that keeps me motivated to get more progress. So I feel like, well, damn, look at where I, I put things in perspective. I reflect a little bit. I'd be like, well, damn, look where I started. Look where I'm at now, Whether it's, even if it's learning a new skill. And I'm like, damn, it was a day I didn't know shit about none of this shit. I ain't know one word of this. Mm -hmm. And now at least I know this much. So I can keep going. Keep going. I can at least yeah. keep going. I mean, it's going forward. You know what I mean? So I find yeah. motivation and progress and, and, and moving and thinking forward and shit. So that's, that's kind of how I motivate myself. But I agree with you. The things that motivate me is definitely my son. Definitely my son. Because when I wake up, you the first thing I be thinking about go in my mind. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I be like, yo, what's up with him? Different ways. Maybe that'd be the first, first thing. But when I wake up, it's like in that group Never of thoughts really. that you yeah. had when you first wake up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a checklist. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Motivate and my passions. Yeah, my passions do motivate me. I remember it was a time I wasn't as connected to my passion as I am now. You know what I mean? And it was hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay motivated when you're doing some shit that you that ain't really connected to you at all. No way. Yeah. Like it ain't some shit you want yeah. you want or feel or nothing. It, it it can be hard to stay motivated. So that's yeah, why I asked that question. How do y'all motivate yourself? You know what I mean? Um hold on. Go say hold up. You said more than one. I only got one C. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got it, bro. I got it, bro. Oh, I got it, bro. Only one. Don't put Goff in the multiple children category. He has bro, one daughter. One daughter. Right clarify now. that. Yeah, I got one son. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I feel you on that. Yeah, but nah, it could be a little difficult to stay motivated, but I just want to shout everybody out, you know, and, and, and see how y'all holding up with child motivations. A lot of people starting businesses now, you know, um... I got a business. I've got a business. Elite Wide Receiver Academy. It could be a little difficult to keep going when you got the businesses, no? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's, even right now going through it, like it's like it's all good, but like it's like a roller coaster. You know what I mean? Like up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, it's dynamic. Like, yeah, it's, it's hard to like you know. Next one week is good. Next week it's like okay, you thinking it should be good, and then it's like. And it don't pan out. Right. right. And it's yep. just like, all right. But you, like you said, you reflect, you look back on when you, where you're coming from with it, where you started with your yeah. business, whatever it is. It's just like, okay, I'm definitely in a better spot. Like, yeah. Let me go a little harder. Yeah. Yeah. You know no, I, mean? I feel you. I feel you. That's the hard part. It is hard. It is. It, is hard it can be very difficult to, to keep going, especially when you don't be seeing no outcome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could be yeah. hard to stay motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Especially mm -hmm. having your own business because nobody going to build it except you. Right. Nobody knows. Right. What, what nope. You know what I mean? You ain't even get started <laughs> yeah. yet. you like, yeah. damn, ain't nobody even know about my shit. And I'm yeah. tired as hell already. You right. know what I'm saying? You put in so much work. Yeah. And then you realize it's, then you like, yeah. And then shit. And then, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, so no. much work more to put in. You so like, much more. even reach exactly. half of where exactly. I was trying to. You know, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> And shout out to everybody starting a business. And here's a word of motivation for you to, to continue to push your business and to see your goals be realized. Because that's a big deal. You're doing it for your, you got a goal in mind. 
continue on that goal until it is realized. That's just my shout out to you. It starts off, everything's starting to dark. Just like when we plant the seeds for the bud, it's starting to dark. You know, just like you was in your mom, you was in the dark. So everything's starting to dark. See what I'm saying? But keep on pushing, you're going to see the light. You're going to see the light on whatever you are doing. You will make some positive traction. So a shout of motivation to anybody on here that's got something that they're working on, something that they're trying to see to fruition. When you got the seed in your hand, you cannot see the fruit hanging off the stem. Put it, put it this way. Think about it like this. I can, well, it's, it's not going unnoticed. You That's a fact. Mean? And you never know who's watching you. Exactly. And, and just keep that motivation going. Yeah. That's a fact. Shout out to y'all. Shauna Cien said, remember my purpose is all the motivation I need. This mission is greater than me. That's a fact. Mm. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. And I like the way you said that. I like the way you said that. Yeah. Remember, Sean Cien said, remember my purpose yes. is all the motivation I need. This mission is greater than me. That's a fact. That's a fact. And you got us in your purpose. Your soul got a purpose. And your soul got a purpose. That's a fact. Sheena Hench, I have the motivation. I just don't have the confidence. Mm, I respect that. I respect that. A lot of people want me to do their hair. I just get scared. So you, you never started my wig. Hold on. I got it. Let me read it again. I have the motivation. I just don't have the confidence. A lot of people want me to do their hair. I just get scared. So you never started my wig business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? That's that's for I want to give you some motivation. I want to give you some confidence. Draw some off me, Sheena, because I've seen your pictures. I've seen the work that you do on yourself. And it's amazing. You might not be licensed. You might not be insured, any of that. But there's there's so many people that will look at what you do just on yourself and want you to do it on them. Like thousands, thousands. There's, the sky is not even the limit for you when it comes to that, to that stuff. I'm serious. Because you take it seriously. You're dedicated to it. You've invested in it. You got all the hard marks of a champ. So you're a champion. If you was to open the door and allow them to get service by you, do their hair and stuff, you would have a waiting list. You would have a waiting list. Just let me tell you. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not a hairdresser. And my word might not count as somebody that is a, net, a accredited hair technician. But just me being an artist to you, seeing you as you doing that and doing your own stuff, it's top notch. It's top level. It's top level. Because I look at a lot of pics because my sister do hair. And she's been doing hair for like maybe 15 years. Licensed cosmetologist, but she don't do hair and nails. I mean, makeup and nails, but she just does hair. So she showed me a lot. You know what I mean? And how your stuff stacks up to theirs is neck and neck. Knowing anybody doing something, you could, you, you're could you going to kill them. You have to move forward. You have to do it. You have to. You're too nice. You're too nice. I can't believe that you saying it to me. But you know what? I can understand that because fear is very pervasive. And once fear sets in, it's hard to get it out. Period. For so, anybody. Yeah. For anybody. So I respect your honesty and your candidness. Yeah. Because fear, it, you know, it exists in all forms of light. And we're a form of light. Birds is a form of light. Spiders, insects, all types of animals. We're all forms of light. And fear exists in all forms of light. And it's a state that you can stay in forever. You see what I'm saying? So don't don't allow, don't stay, in, don't remain in fear as a state, but move through it as just an emotion. So don't allow yourself to get locked in that fear state where you can't pass out of it because you have more than enough to destroy any, all of your motivations, all of your ambitions. You're going to be 50 times higher than you ever thought. So I just hope that I give you some energy and some positive love and affirmation because you definitely got that. If, I, if this the hair, don't have no fear. You're going to make mistakes. You go and make mistakes, but it's all learning, to the good. Learning. Yeah, it's all to the learning. good. I got faith in you. Damn. If anything, yes, a fact. Mia said, love from the Ratchet Hippie. Shout out to Mia. Shout out to the Ratchet Hippie Show. Shout out to the Ratchet Hippie Show. Yeah, she had me on the show. We had a great time. We, we talked about a lot of topics. Shout out to Mia. She's another one. She's coming up the Velvet Underground. Just, just, I love the show. I love yeah. the message in the show and... Very free spirited, always very loving Mia. That's a fact. Very, very sister oriented. So I like I the way that you big up. Yeah, she got the Ratchet Hippie podcast. I like the way you big up other women, Mia. You you always bigging up other women, and that's important. That's important. You don't got that tear down arrow type attitude. You always bigging up. So that's love. That's love. Bonnie said motivation. Bonnie Seneca, welcome, welcome. Oh, you already know. Wife is in the building. That's the fam right there. Motivation, putting forth the best effort to give our daughter more than we ever had. 
more resources, more experiences, more love, more everything. And that's a fact. Shout yeah. out to that. Yeah. Always. Always. More resources, yes. More experiences, yeah. yes. More love, more everything. Yeah. In abundance, yes, that's what it is. Abundance, that's a fact. In abundance is coming. It always is up and down, but you live in yeah. abundance realizing that your true wealth is something that you can't spend money on. To have a loving family, to have some one Most person important. that said that they love you. Yeah, that's that speaks volumes. I was say a lot, a lot of people don't get that. They don't feel that. Yes. They don't, they don't get that, you know? It's, yes. It's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but... I appreciate you. Yeah, the you love from your know. family is something that it's a it's a great motivator, but it's also a, it's for a man. It's like you can go, you, yeah, you can go around, you can go anywhere, do anything with the love of yeah. your family. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the real men out there. Jerry said, "I haven't been motivated since returning to work from COVID leave. Singing for hours usually works. I get shit done." Okay, yeah. So you like to sing? You like to let your voice out? You know what's crazy, Jerry is. Are you the type of person that just can make up a song? Because I could just make up a song. I'll just start singing some shit. I don't even know where it came from. And I'll just make some shit up. And it'd be a song and shit. And then you repeat that part. Then you keep going. And you find another part you sung you like. Then you repeat that part. And then you like make a song and shit. Yo, we should do an album, Terry. We should do an album. Yes. Uh -oh. Some Alexander O'Neill <laughs> and Cheryl Sher shit. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. La. We should do Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle type joint, Jerry. That's like over trap beats. That's a fact. I'm pretty sure Jerry got a good voice too. You look like you, you know, you look like a little baby Joe Scott style, early Joe Scott style. Sheena Hitch, I really appreciate those words. Oh no, it's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. You got. I, I'm not telling you what to do. But I'm I'm hoping and, and praying that you will take that advice and get go at it because you're going to tear it up because you're very dedicated, you're very knowledgeable, and you invest. So those three things is the hallmark. I've seen a lot of successes, and you a success. I've seen a lot of successes. You see what I'm saying? And you are a success. So like some of us is winners, and you a winner. You know, winners win. You know, losers lose. They always feel like some shit is not for their good or they... It's like, damn, this is a setback. This is a setback. But being a winner, you recognize that there are no setbacks. It's just a setup for the next take-in. You see what I'm saying? Because the winner wins every time. Even when he lost, he might have invested. But he don't see it as a loss. He see it as a lesson. And he dwells on it and thinks oh, he's going to recalibrate to go back at it to do it again. You know they don't get rich on their first try. You know them rich people don't be rich off trying one time to get rich. They don't waste a thousand. They don't do thousands and thousands of dollars at some shit when they came up on that one million. You know that. He had 10 G's and it was his last 10 G's and he put 8 G's. He had 2 G's left. Then he spent the last 2. He had nothing left. If this shit don't work, I don't got nothing. I'm fucked up. And then he fucked it up and then he bounced Amen. back and he did it again. Do you understand what I'm saying to y'all? Yeah, the motivation that I feel I want everybody to feel because we all winners. We win in together. You see what I'm saying? So just because you lost that one try, gather it up and go back at it with the new knowledge. Go back at it with, with, with increased wisdom. That's a fact. Anybody on this live? Shauna Sienna, Sheena, your work is impeccable. Remember, people are coming to you because they already know you what you're about. That's a fact. Be great, That's beloved. True. That's a fact. That's true. They know that, they that know. she has an eye for quality. They know that she she is meticulous. There's a few things they know about you. And they will be like, yeah, you know what? I would like her to mess up. If she does mess up, she can mess up on me. Right. That's a fact. I'm trusting you that much. Yeah. <laughs> Sheena says, Sean C. Ann, I'm trying, girl. This fear always keeps me in the same place. And it's me that's stopping myself, unfortunately. Thanks for those words, sis. Yes, yes. Yeah, our own worst enemy, our own best friend. That's a fact. Somebody told me, um, if the person inside your head was a physical, the voice inside your head was a physical person outside your body, would you want to punch them in the face or would you want to hug them? Mm. If oh. the voice in your head was a physical person outside of your body, would you hate them or would you love them? How do you feel about that? Are you, are you pretty self-judgmental? How do you feel about that? Do you, do you, are you pretty harsh would, uh, in your own mind to yourself, or do you kind of depend? I think depend on the situation. 
But damn, <laughs> depending on the situation, I think I would hug him. I think are I you would, overly critical? Oh, so you, hug hug him, you got more love for the voice in your head than than. So it's nice to you. Is the voice in your head kind to you that you hear when you're doing shit? You like, damn, you fucked that up, but you can get back. Or do you just like, man, fuck, you're a fuck up, damn. Mm, okay. Some people is pretty self-critical. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, depending on the situation, uh, how 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 realistic you're being with it. You know okay. I mean, if you're being truthful, you know what I okay. mean? Okay. Because mm-hmm. they you know certain, certain, certain situations that that voice is telling you not to do something, you know, yeah. telling you to do good, yeah, telling you to do bad, yeah. You know what I mean? Tell you to just is this? I don't know. It's, it's but you. I I would I would hug. Them. You hug the person I in your mind. Yeah, got more love for because that person. I don't know. You talk to yourself. You have conversations in your head. Absolutely. So it's like that right there is in itself. It's like I would love to meet you because who am I talking to? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I see what you're I saying. Know, I know I'm. You know what I mean? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Jerry said yes. Making shit up daily. Stop playing. I'm in there. I'll kill that shit for sure. I'm about to set a mic up. And I'm gonna get us some beats. It's gonna take till the summer, but yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll do an album. Fuck it. I gotta get my voice together though. I'm dead serious. I've been wanting to record some R and B shit. I've been wanting to do this shit. I'm dead serious. I started writing songs, like singing songs. Oh, legit. Yeah, like singing songs. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna record some shit. Cause they got all types of shit, plugins for your voice. As long oh, as you man, got a halfway decent right, voice, right, right. They, can they can make your shit into that come on. Yep, These true. motherfuckers' yeah, voices matter. sound like dying dogs out here. <laughs> You could, I know you can plug my shit in the sun and make that shit some damn, yeah, some new school uh, Marvin Gaye shit. Punch, TNS, send Ev home. <laughs> send Ev home, laugh my ass off, what's up, fella? What's good, Punch, Punch? I already know. <laughs> yo, Punch, I, yo, I got mad love for you, bro. You a great father as well. You a great father as well. I seen your children jump all over you out of love. I seen that. Shout out to your fatherhood. Shout out to you. Shout out to Pudge. Pudge said, it's definitely a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you pretty rough on yourself too then. You pretty rough on yourself, Pudge? I mean, in your own mind. Like, do you be like, damn, you piece of shit. What's up with you, man? You got to get this shit together. Or are you more like, more critical on yourself? You know? Pudge said, my inside voice be spitting some dark shit. Okay. 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 A lot of heard that from a lot of people though. I heard that. They be like, yo, man. And it, and it tsh, they be warring with some shit. Like, uh, Same to you, my G. Yeah, much love. Much war love. Themselves. Much love. Punch said, appreciate I appreciate you, too. Appreciate you for being here, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. No, um. Yeah, you know, sometimes you be in a certain frame of mind and shit. Shit be fucked up. It's usually when shit is tight money-wise. And you just like, man, fuck that, man. But if you got some food and you got a couple dollars. You all right? Yeah, you might be all right. You might be alright. It's true. You ain't got no money. You might you be fucking. It's one of y'all ain't got no fucking cash. Or I don't got no money, and then you know that's when you or your money get low, and you ain't you know so the shit ain't come through like it was supposed to on the yeah. other move, yeah. and you like your shit getting tight, man. You still rip start touching. The mind go to another level. <laughs> it's dark. Start getting dark. Start getting yeah, dark like dark. the back of the closet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um. Nah, that's a fact. But shout out to y'all, man. Let's see what else we got, yo. Oh, yeah. Come get love bombed. So if y'all got something that y'all, anything y'all working on, put it in the comments. And we're going to big it up and show us some positive energy. So anything you got working on, anything that you would want some positive words spoken on that you're working on, comment in the comments. And we're going to big it up. We're going to big it up. So come on and get love bomb. So first off, I want to shout out to Ev because he do got this business. And I'm proud as fuck of, of anybody, but especially Ev. Because this is his life. This is shit that he he played sports. When I, when I met him, he was playing sports. Dumb nice. Like Ricky from fucking Boys in the Hood. But without the shotgun scene. Dumb nice. We was like, oh, Ev won NFL. And he's still an NFL caliber player. So he's the nicest athlete I ever knew personally. He's the nicest athlete I've ever known personally. That's a fact. Is F, Evan Graham. Run the fastest, jump the highest, catch the furthest. 
Dead serious. Evan, he's, a, he's, a, he's an incredible athlete. I'm talking about all around. I see some people jump that mod. I'm saying all around. He's an all around athlete. You know what I'm saying? So when he said he was starting a wide receiver academy, I was like, that shit makes sense. That shit's fucking perfect. I remember he told me, I was like, yo, that shit is perfect. That's just perfect. It's perfect. Elite wide receiver academy. I can see that shit growing everywhere. Shout out to Eric Newkirk. Because he's doing a league. That's big. So we're going to plug. We're going to try to work these, facilitate these connections. Everybody got leagues in the city. If you know somebody got a league, reference them to Ev. They can get the off-season training and get back in and keep. Let's do it all local. Let's do it all local. You know what I mean? Shout out to that. So, that. no, nah, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. I had to yeah. say that. I had to say that. Yeah. Pudge says, see, my thoughts be the same. Either way, too many kids. See, my, my thoughts be the same. Either. Way too many kids to be hungry or broke. Yeah, now nah, that's a fact. No, no. That was before I had my son. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. Today, if I don't, if they don't got it, some, I don't, I, I hate to say that, but yeah, yeah. I might have to do, I can't, they can't go without. They can't go without. Yeah, especially knowing how you grew up, what you went through. He can't go without. I feel you, Pudge. Yeah, it might, yeah, something might come out. You see, I got the hoodie on tight, tight. Something might come out. I don't know. Is it sometimes it's people that got too much in different places and you, you know, but now you don't got to knock nobody block off. It's so, I, I mean, I run a scam for my son starve. Right? There's no way my son's starving. I work 50 million hours ways, a week. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. too many ways. I'm just going to apply myself 50 yeah. ways. And Pudge is, Pudge is a, I love your work ethic. Your knowledgeable mechanic as well, Pudge. Pudge knows yeah. a lot about vehicles. Oh, yeah. You're a survivor. <laughs> Let me put you back on the screen. <laughs> Because you are a true friend. I fuck with you, Pudge. I fuck with you. You always take care of your family. Every time I see you, you be on your vehicle. You're very knowledgeable. You spread love, too. And me having dealt with you, my life is enriched because of knowing you. So shout out to you, Pudge. Shout out to you, brother. I love you. I love Pudge. I do. All of our interactions is all love. See what I'm saying? And he got love in his heart. So shout out to Pudge, man. That's real shit. That's real shit. Old neighborhood shit. That's real shit. Jerry said, I'll hug her. Tell her thank you for holding me down. Then I introduce her to my other woman, Mary Jane. Yes. Yes. So so you have kind conversations with yourself in your mind. Some people, they're really, really hard on themselves in their own mind. Wow. You have, but you can't, though. You know what I mean? You know, some people, they're like that. And, and then they be like that to other people. You ever met somebody like that? They really judgmental they self, or they really in their mind. It's like they always going at each, they self and it spills out and they come at you bit. like that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, Dennis Daniels. I missed a couple topics, but I feel as though one must find your self peace. Then you begin to flourish. Yeah. Absolutely. I can agree with that. <laughs> at least some some at least a piece of that self peace. You might not get it all at once. Yeah, and have that total yeah. peace, but you'll find a little piece of it. You'll be like, hold up, I found a little piece. And then you can find another piece, another piece. You can put it all together until you're very peaceful. You know what I mean? Very peaceful. That's a fact. Until <laughs> you're very peaceful. Oh, man. <laughs> Boy said, dude, I'm blushing. You sarcastic, motherfucker. You sarcastic, oh, motherfucker. Man. You better cut it out. Oh, nah, listen. We got gray hairs in our beard. I got gray hairs in my beard. You know, a lot of, we, you know, so many of our friends that we know, shout out to our brother, shout out to our brother, Charles Graham. Already. It's been two years already. This year, so many people passed. It was ridiculous. Last year, mad people passed. We got gray hair in our beard. That shit is like a trophy. If you got gray hair in your beard... You have trophies on the mantle. You have survived something. So you see what I'm saying? The more gray hairs, the better, you're saying? Yeah. You could never guilt nobody for getting old. They live in their life. They still alive to see and exist. You know how many people is gone. That is true. You could never be guilty for getting old. How could you? That, I remember Doggy Diamond said that, but I agree with him. How could you be guilty for feeling older? That's beautiful. You know how many of our friends is not going to get no older? It's like so many of, of, of that you knew and don't know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of gratitude for this life, yeah. man. For for being a year older or getting older in general. Or getting grays. A lot of our friends are never going to get no grays in it. When they pass, they don't have no gray. They will never have yeah. no gray. 
You know, so that man, that's it's man, life is life is beautiful, man. Look at it. Bonnie said, on the ebb as an athlete topic. People see it. <laughs> People see his public passion for football and his business. I see his behind the scenes true, true, true passion. The passion is real, like shed tears, powerful moments, real. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can, Bonnie, I can feel that. I can feel that. I can feel that. I can feel that. You leave it all in a place and you give all of yourself to it. You know what I mean? You, how did he say it? Let me see if I can recount how he said it. I think he said, you sacrifice everything that's not aligned with your vision at the altar of your dreams. So you leave it all up there. You sacrifice everything not aligned with your vision at the altar of your dreams. Big one right there. Big one. And Ev is that person. Ev is that person. That's a fact. That's a fact. Man, who said that? I don't even know. <laughs> I just, it never left me when I heard it. Yeah, yeah. I just was like, yo, I got to remember that shit. Pud said, respect, rip, big homie Chaz. That's a fact. It's been two years already. So we need to meet up at the at the cemetery and get something going. I couldn't even say, I couldn't even talk like this last year. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to keep going because it's still, I'm still fucked up. And that's some shit I'm dealing with. So everybody's dealing with something. So that's why I feel like if we if we fuck with each other, we should show love to each other. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody dealing with some shit right now. Everybody dealing with some shit. I remember that shit, man. That shit. Because when he passed, it just made me realize I had to connect more with what, like, like you see what I'm saying? Like, it shook me to, like, a lot to my core. L losing someone that you... That you love so much that you're so close to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Loss and mourning affects everybody differently. And it took me to go through some real shit like that to still go through it to, to realize that other people sometimes just need need a kind word. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they're going through. Right. You don't know exactly know where they at. Smile, wave. Of, you know, because you know I mean? it was dark, man. It was dark. You know, and, and, and y'all know, y'all know. Curtis McTeer, stop saying we. I don't have any gray hairs yet. Oh, you better cut it out. Them shit's coming. They coming, bro. They coming. Don't worry about it. Hopefully, they come and they will come. And they will come. I got plenty they, on. Give me some. You got some. Get out. Yo, go. You ain't got no gray hairs. Get out of here, go. None? You a brown haired, young, strapping young man, then, huh? Now, see, that, what I was worried about was getting gray hairs on my, on my, on my genitals. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, yo, when you when you got great dick hair, you old. You're old. You're old. You're old. You're old dog. Your dick hair great. That's what you got. That's what you say. You old. You're old official. Nah, that's a fact. Word. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> he said it again. Stop saying we. Don't have no great hairs yet. No. Okay. Yo, see that DHT? You you gotta you gotta you don't got a lot of DHT production. How old are you, go? Though you in your thirties? Go like. You to be forty. Go for like ninety one. Yeah, you know what, Sean? You know, that's the fact. <laughs> Some motherfuckers' hairlines is gone. Walking, moonwalking. You know what I mean? Um, Ball spotting. You know. Thankfully, thankfully, all my shit gravy, but you know. Man, my shit running. And get crazy, man. <laughs> but y'all, I wanted to shout everybody out on the hairline tip. If you want to conserve your hairline, I found out some shit the other day. I'm going to drop this on you. Because this is what women do. Not to say we judge ourselves according to what women do, but they got their beauty secrets. We got our beauty secrets. If you need help with your hairline and you want to regrow hair, there is a way to regrow hair, which I found out in my research. If you have a bald spot, if you got a runny hairline, if the hair is still growing but it's fine, or if it's, it's it's not growing totally, you could use this. It's called micro needling. I'm about to put y'all up on some game. You know you fuck with your man Mark Austin, Glass Table Show. Always dropping knowledge. If your hairline is receding or you're going light. It could be from an overproduction of DHT at the hair follicle. You can get this little pen and you put cartridges. It's like a little battery, right? But then at the top, it got cartridges. In the cartridges, there's needles. The needles go 0.5 millimeters deep into your skin and scalp. You can use it on your face to get rid of acne scars. You can use it on your hair to regrow your hair. What it does is it punches a bunch of little holes in your skin, perforates them, and stimulates the collagen production, stimulates the the roots and stimulates the hormonal development at the at the at the hair level. So after you do it, you're supposed to put something on it. You could put different types of you could put rice water on it. 
You could put essential oil compounds, different things to make your hair grow. But that's the way that you grow your hair back. There, you could use the micro needling to grow your hair back. So I, it's not expensive. I looked up the pen. Now, if you go to the shop to get micro needle by a professional, it's gonna be about two fifty per, you know, one hundred fifty to two fifty per session. Yeah, but you can buy your own micro needling needler off Amazon. Type in micro needle, and you want to get the Doctor A's. Look up Doctor A's micro needler on Amazon. You buy that. You do it every day, and your hair will grow back. I know this sounds crazy, but we're, welcome to the future, my nigga. Yo. Welcome to the future, my nigga. Yeah. Call me Marty McFly, baby. <laughs> Dennis Day said, I need in. I got you. I got you. We both be 40 this year, fam. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shout out to you. Man. That's right. Yeah, nah, I'm 40. I just had my birthday, bro. Shout out to you, go. Oh, yeah, yeah, son of it, 4 -0. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, some grays coming in. To, like, you know, not too many, but yeah, I see some grays. But shout out to, I ain't even gonna say that. I was say something. There's some women in the room. I, we, we don't do that till later. We don't do that till 11. I ain't gonna talk like that yet. <laughs> Dennis said. <laughs> Dennis Daniel said. Oh, and man. keep pushing my line back. Oh. Oh, you did? He said, I'm doing it. He said, you putting it. Oh, he said, keep putting his line up back, I'm yo. Bang, losing it. <laughs> Been losing it. Yo. Oh, okay, what up? How's my lady? Oh, oh she oh she sold today. She sold? Yeah, she sold today. I didn't even know you finished her. Yeah, I, I stayed up all night doing it. I'm doing I'm doing the show right now. You wanna pop in? Oh, I wish I had to step out. Yeah. Oh man. Well, shout out to our neighbor. She she came through, she's doing the tattoos. Shout them out, shout yourself right. out on Hi. camera. Tell them who you are and what you do in the building here. My name here. is Jasmine. I tattoo and I do art. Shout out to Jasmine. She green, got... Green room tattoos. Come on down and All see together. her. together. Come yes. see me. In the Monkey Wrench building. S Shout out to Jasmine. SQT. Yes, that's a fact. 143 Main Street, Suite 105. There you go. SQT. SQT. Green room tattoos on IG. There you go. Come How check her you? out. She's back in here. Come see me at another time. Yeah, I got Shout you. Shout out to you, bro. Peace. Oh. No, I got you. Thank you. Oh, oh shit. You good. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Jasmine. She do tattoos down at the shop down here in the studio. So if you need your tattoo work done, y'all come on down, 143 Main Street. Um, yeah, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Um, I'm mean, yeah, but Gof remember when I was big yo, Gof remember when I was fat as hell. I was fat as hell, Gof. I got a new leash on life. I remember. A couple of y'all remember when I was I a super fat plaster bastard. Nah, I'm not fat, but I remember you It was a belly ache. Right. You feel exactly. later? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I was overweight. Oh, I was super overweight. And Goat remember too. Because me and Goat know each other a long time. And Ab too. But yeah, I think Goat, we and me and Goat went to school. Back in the back in the back. But yeah, yeah, back in the jack in the crack. Yeah. Goat remember, I was I was super heavyweight uh Hacksaw Jim Duggan black version. You know what I'm saying? Hacksaw Jim Duggan! <laughs> ho! Remember that shit? Oh. Hacksaw Jim Duggan! Ho! Yo, but check this out. I got a video for y'all. You know I always download videos now. We watch the videos together. I got a crazy video for you. One of three we're going to play tonight and see if y'all how y'all feeling about this one. I haven't really seen this one too much. We're going to watch it together. You know I always put crazy videos on. But let's see what we got. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me start it back over. It looked like a bull. Hold up. Yeah, it got to be Spain or something. I think this is in Japan. It's Japanese letters. Might be China. Oh. They got a live bull running around the backyard. That's ill. Imagine. Uh oh. Oh shit. Why are you running over there with a bull at though? Oh, you ain't even. You don't want your balls. Oh! 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 Oh shit! Oh! 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 oh. Deeply sorry, oh. big bro. No more beating, please. What? Oh, that's. Motherfucker got scared and ran off. Damn, you flipped, you son. Like, yo, you. you right, oh! <laughs> that oh, damn! Damn! That's messy. Yo, that man said, yo. Yeah, that was L. That man Damn. got flipped over. The bull ran off like he stole so my wallet. Said, hey, that man. shit crazy. What the hell is going on? Over 
That shit That's was good. crazy. Yo, shout out to shout out to whoever got away. Because he got away. Wow. Wow. Hold up. I got one more though. Let's check this one out. Made a mistake. We got this one out. Yeah, I saw this one yet. So this one in this video right here, I think this came out like a couple days ago. The dude had a nervous breakdown at his job. Did y'all see this one yet? Doing his job? This one, yeah. This this one been rolling around on Instagram. But the dude basically, he's like, he worked at a he worked at a hotel. Another dude came in, he had a discrepancy about his bill. And this dude that's that's working the counter, he has a nervous breakdown on his job. Yeah. So let's let's check this one out because right here. You all made a mistake? Not really, no. So you wanna get mad and hit the computer because you made a mistake? Because your company made a mistake? You want to take it out on me? I'm not taking it out on you. So why did you get mad and hit the computer? Why did you get mad and hit the computer? I'm sure you're on camera, right? Yeah, I am. I'm sure you're on camera. So this is the type of people that have working here. <laughs> It's just because he said it's the type of people we got working here. That motherfucker's clearly from fucking Arkansas. Hold up. That can't be real. Yeah. You agree with my whole life, man. Oh. oh. What? Oh. Going through some shit. Going through it. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, wow. Great customer Wow. Service. You feel bad now. You feel bad. Wow. Now. You feel bad now. You see, that's why it's important to 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 delay off people. Cause that motherfucker right there, that that could have easily been a school shooter, man. Right. Oh, you don't know what's yo. How you approach, how you yo. approach the person? <laughs> it's it's damn. It's funny to look at, but it ain't that obviously. He was going through something. Yeah, he was going through it. He was going through it. Damn, son. He did some old... I remember white boys used to do that shit back in the day, though. Remember? Yeah, remember when your boyfriend that was like seven? Real young when we was young? Young black kids, young white kids, they do different yeah, shit. Because yeah. we used yeah. to steal from the store, I'll tell you shit. But yeah, man, you'd be like, yo, chill, chill, yo, chill, yo. <laughs> don't do that shit, yo. He'd be like, man, I don't fucking care. Fuck! But yo, yeah, everybody, on, everybody is on a fucking... Different mindset. Everybody <laughs> dealing with some shit right now. So... Just be kind if you can. Be kind if you can. If you can't be kind, then at least be genuine. Don't be negative. Mm. That's the problem. I feel like it, it's the negativity. You put a negativity in. You can speak up for yourself. You don't have to be negative. If you don't like something, you can speak it, but you don't have to be negative. That's the part yeah. where I'm like, damn, this is this this shit getting crazy out here. But yo, I got one more for y'all. And we're gonna watch this and we're gonna get into this last topic real quick. Hold up. Oh shit, this already setting up bad. This setting up bad. I think he dancing on the hood while they washing the car. I don't I don't think this gonna end good for sure. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, you see his body the way he moving on the hood? <laughs> Yo, that, that's that, that move you do when you fucked baby up. Pumps, yeah, that baby pump. That's when you <laughs> fucked up for real. Up. Everybody do that when they fucked up. This it's just the weight shit. Oh, oh gosh. She thrust a little too hard on that last one. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, so that's that summer day shit. That's when it's a summer day. You feeling too good? Somebody should have told you to get your ass off that hood. Like, what are you doing? Jerry said, for sure, I've cried at work like that. Here's what went through his head. This customer is getting on my nerves. I should be at home working on my business. Fuck this place. Ah. Mm. He was howling like the wolf in the night in the back. I, I, yo, I, you know, I don't push shit past people, Jerry. You know, people be crazy these days. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? You don't... Woo! You don't know who on the edge, on the razor's edge. You know, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? But I'm shit uh. We got one more topic. Do you feel... Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, for this final topic, we're going to leave everybody on a great note. And the question is... Do you feel that you can harness your true potential? 
Do you feel like you can harness your true potential? Because, you know, no one else knows your potential except you. And some people don't even know their own potential. They haven't realized it yet. But then some people have realized a fraction of their potential. Sort of. Do you feel that you can reach, you can harness your true potential? Do you feel you can harness your true potential? That's a big one. Nah, just in general. Do you feel like do you feel like you can you can you can harness that true potential? Or do you feel like you'll never be able to harness your potential? Once you once you realize what it is you should be able to. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. At that moment. I don't think a lot of a lot of people I don't think know their their even know their true potential. They don't know their potential. You know, sometimes a lot of people I don't feel like know their potential. Because they squander it. They squander their potential. And they don't really know the full potential of you know, sometimes it's somebody else that can see your potential when you can't. You ever meet somebody like that? And they and they like start talking to you and they like, yo, you know. You really good at this, yo. You got the you got the potential to do this, and they might. It's, it's sometimes it's rare that you come across somebody that's already at a late a level of 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 success at something, and then they come to you and they see you and they're like, yo, you got the potential to be great. You got the potential. Did, did anybody ever speak to you like that? Speak to y'all like that? Did any ever did anybody ever speak to your potential? Did anyone ever speak to your potential? Because it takes that too. Because you might not even know your potential until it's realized inside yourself. You know, so who was the person that spoke to your potential? Who was the person that made you aware that you even had a great potential? Like, who? What, can you remember somebody? Maybe it was a coach. Maybe it was a pastor. And, another, and the other question is, do you feel you can harness your true potential? Like, do you feel like you'll be able to harness some of your true potential? I, it was a lot of people that spoke of... Uh, that spoken into me. Who who's some of the people that uh that made you aware of your potential, bro? Um, did it start with your mom? Did it start with like your first coach? Was it like your um, older cousin? You know, sometimes it's. I guess it may depend on like depends like sports or. Just and they like, look at just in general, and they looked general, at you and was like, "Yo, you got a lot of potential." And they looked at you was like, "Yo, you got potential. You can do something." Did you did you ever get that talk with somebody, or was it? Oh well, or or it was uh, I remember when we was younger at uh, St. John's, mm -hmm. St. John's camp, or it was, it was St. John. It was the church for some doing after school program, I think. Uh, dude, Joe, uh, he's always used to speak. He was like, I remember he always say, "Knowledge equals power." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and it was, it was a bunch of kids. You know what I mean? My brother, you know, Kyrie, you know, God brothers, whatnot. Mm -hmm. and it's like we, and it's like. Uh, you know, it's like he always used to say that every day, and it's like I remember that most importantly. Mm. So like now, growing up, like, I, you know, like you know, as a kid, little kid, you don't you hear a bunch of shit, you know, whatever. But mm. that right there stuck out to me, and it was just as now where I'm at older, it's like you realize, like, damn, you understand what he was saying, mm. you know what I mean? and what Trump, where he was coming from, mm. like from you know, we was little little babies, you know, and from his era. And and what mm. he knows, yes. You know what I mean? So and he was somebody that spoke to your right. potential. He made you aware of your potential, right? right. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Because I think that's a bigger part. That's the biggest part for me is speaking dealing with with the youth or anybody younger is to awaken them to their potential. Because nobody might not awaken the duck to their potential. Like you know, you you got the potential to do anything you want to do. Anything. You can do it. You have the potential. Look at this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at these traits you got. These this leads to a potential. You have the potential, mm -hmm. and once you get awakened to the possibility of your own potential, it's like then the sky is not even a limit. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're awakened to the possibility of your own potential. See it? You like I could do anything I put in my mind. I could really do this shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, that that's a, that's a big one. Shaughnessy said, "I feel like my true potential can't be harnessed until I return to the ethers for an unearthly, unearthly understanding." Mm, mm. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Your true potential can your true potential can't be harnessed until I return to the ethers for an unearthly understanding. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I mean, your physical in this realm, your physical potential of who you are and the the assemblage and the assemblage of of molecules 
and Adams that configure Shaughnessy, can you reach, can you harness your true potential in this incarnation? Do you feel like you can do that? So I'm just more so asking a question for everyone to brainstorm on if they are reaching up to their potential. Because, you know, sometimes we might not push ourselves to reach our highest potential. We might just push ourselves to get day to day. We might just get, we might just push ourselves to maintain. We might just push ourselves to do what's necessary instead of pushing ourselves to our highest potential or our true potential to be unlocked. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wanted everybody to brainstorm on that because I was thinking about that the other night after my birthday. Just thinking about potentialities and each person's potential and how much potential everyone really has. Yeah. Limitless potential to those that realize aspects of themselves. Is, I feel like think, um, the potential is limitless. You think you think people realize their potential but like afraid to do the things? Oh. You know what I mean? For it? Oh, <laughs> good question. Good That's, question. Now, I do, I do agree with you. I feel like a lot of people they'll get a glimpse of their of their potential of something, just a fraction, because that's that's just one area they th of one thing they're doing, not realizing it's all these other areas that they got potential in. But they'll just get a fraction of that, and they'll have success in something, and that'll be just a fraction of all the things that they have potential to be great at, and they'll get scared of a fraction of their potential. Not even a whole. <laughs> They'll be like, this is that's just one part of all the other yeah, shit that you could be yeah, great at. And you're scared of all of it because you had some traction in this area. You know, and that's that's fear and a lot of times it'd be fear, it'd be self-doubt. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, I I, I wanted to speak to everyone's true potential because everyone has a I feel like any, everyone has a limitless potential. It's lit it's truly limitless for what for it how you feel of what you want, what you can accomplish for yourself. Yeah. What, what you should be doing. Yeah, what your goals and visions of yourself, can you, what you can do, you can do all of them. So there's no blueprint for it. There's that. no blueprint. It's all possible for you. The potentiality lies within you to do anything that you need to or would love to do or need to do or anything. You know what I mean? Let's see. So Jerry said, I know I have hella potential. I haven't tried hard enough. Being a, being an introvert has a lot to do with it. I just started hyping myself up a few years ago. Okay. That's very candid. I appreciate your honesty. Yes, mm -hmm. Jerry said that. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's a fact. I think a lot of people struggle with that. It's, it's, do they believe in themselves? They go back to the self-confidence, the self-belief in yourself. But, you know, when you're little, you might be more judgmental on yourself. You might take on different different parts of, of other people's opinion of you. And then as you come into adulthood, you shed all uh, everybody's notions of you. And you realize what you like a little bit of who you truly are, what you are. You know, you're like, well, fuck that. I'm hot as fuck. I got to speak that shit up. That, but when you're like 11, you're like, damn, I don't know if I'm hot. His shit hotter, yo. My yeah. shit hot, but damn, his shit hotter. So you don't really want to speak up. You're like, you like, you feel timid or you don't, you don't got the confidence to, you know, yeah. but yeah, I, 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 I dig yeah. that, Jerry. Yeah. I dig that. The same position, yeah. Letitia, oh, how you doing? How you doing? Letitia Smith. Beautiful profile picture too, by the way. She said, happy belated birthday. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Love. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, no, going back to Letitia, and we're going to get you to you, Jerry, because we got to love bomb everybody. Letitia is an elite hairstylist. She's a cos cosmologist, cosmetologist. She's owned her own shop for, I believe, a decade now. If it isn't longer, she's owned her own Black owned business, shout your business out, Letitia. Shout your business out. Let me shout your business out. I know you probably don't have no room for no more clients because she is always crazy. But shout out to Letitia Smith, black owned business woman. Gotta give you your flowers. I saw you. Remember, we met. I was doing the Sears shit in the Eastville Mall when Sears was Eastville Mall, and I believe you was working in that salon. And you went to get your own salon, held it down, and grew it. And it's nails in there and everything now, right? You got to do eyelashes and everything now in your shop, right? So look how far we... Look how far! I'm so... I'm hella proud of you. I'm hella proud of Letitia Smith. Shout out to Letitia Smith. Hard working woman. Gets the job done. Sees a vision. Gets there. 10 years of business for herself. So shout out to you. You, I, I look to you as an inspiration for this shit. Yeah. Shout out to her for keeping her shit going and rocking out. 
Mia said, I heard a quote that said, every choice we make comes from two emotions, love or fear. I believe this on a spiritual level. I hear that. Yes, me, I feel you. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Fear. Yeah, because Basic. it's, yeah. Basic. I feel you. I feel that. I feel that, Mia. I feel that. You can feed into the fear or you can feed into the love. It's like fight or, fight or flight. Because everything, is law of polarity in play. So everything exists between two poles. So I, I could dig that. I could dig that. I could dig that. I could dig that. Jerry said, for sure, being afraid has something to do with it. I found spirituality. It's a whole vibe. Yes. Yes. And shout out to you, Jerry. A great mom to your daughters. And a very loving supporter. I want to thank you for the constant support. I want to thank you. Shout out to Jerry. Shout out to Jerry. As well. I, I've been seeing you do the flower thing. Talk to her more about the flower thing. We might know. You know what? We might have to bring you on. Yeah, she does. She does these these like. Uh, tell them what you do, Jerry. It's something with these flowers. I don't know if you make them out of paper. I don't know if it's scrapbook. I don't know if it's for parties. I need to know a little more about it. You got to tell me more about what you do. But I've seen it. I've been intrigued. I just haven't got to talk to you really about what it is. But you might have to come on the show, Jerry. You might have to come on the show if you want. That's a fact. To talk about what you do. Oh, you're very welcome, Leticia Smith. So thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. That's a fact. Letitia said, 437 clientele. Look at that. Deep. Shout out to you. Deep. 437 clientele? Yeah, shout out to you, Letitia. Damn. Numbers, run it up. Run it up. Numbers. Wow. Letitia, yes, no. She said 19 years in. 19 years in. Yeah, because it was Sears. It was Sears. In 25 years, but not, it was Sears. It was Sears. That was like 20 years ago. Yeah, 22 years ago we met a son. I don't know. It was more than 20 years ago. You, I'm saying it, but I'm like, damn. Motherfuckers up, not old, but you've been on Earth mad years now. Because like years sort of, they fly by, you know? But shout 21. out to you. <laughs> Always doing good here. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Shout out to you. Very welcome. Very welcome. Yeah, no, um... But yeah, that's 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 pretty dope. So 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 you feel like do you feel like you can harness your true potential? I don't because I be thinking that I don't even know if I can harness all my my I can harness maybe my true, but my fullest I don't know because it's so many potentialities. You know what I mean? So I feel like still not done grown. Yeah, still evolving. Still, still evolving. evolving. Say that every day. Say that still evolving. So that damn so it grows. Your potential grows. Grows. Every day. Wow. See, Ev is spitting facts in here. Oh. Ev is dropping jewels in here. Because your potential Man. does grow because you change. That's right. a fact. That's Man. a fact. So your potential grows. Your worth and value grow. It's supposed to. But shout out to Ev for that. Wow. As you grow, your potential grows. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm absolutely. My son, 22. Yes. Yes, 22 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real shit. Real shit. That's a fact. I'll be 39 this year. Shout out to you. That's a fact. That is a fact. Yes. Wow. Jerry said, I'll come through. I use real flowers, a florist that studies herbs and its nutritional value. So Jerry's a florist. Yeah, I know I saw you doing some ill shit with flowers. That's dope. So you make custom flower arrangements. You do custom flower arrangements. That's dope. Yeah, well, you got to get on to come talk. You got to come on. Yeah. Letitia said you have to find your purpose. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. Yeah. Find your purpose in what you do. Once you find your purpose, everything finds its place. Shout out to Letitia for the game bar. Shout out to Letitia for the game bar. That's a fact. All falls into place. That's a fact. Shout out to you. 19 years in. That's a fact. That's a fact. And then you've been demonstrating it. Yeah, so you know what? Shout out to y'all. Um, shit, if y'all got something else, let us know. Um, If you got somebody, if you got somebody young, young men, or, you know, what's the ages again? Like, uh, oh, um, um, I go eight and up. Eight, and up. Ages eight, eight years up. old and up. Yeah. Please refer them to Evan Graham, Elite Wide Receiver Academy. You can check it out on Google. Google him. Sign him up with his academy, a state-of-the-art facility. They get the best of the best training, honestly. It's, it's, if you want to get them in shape, you want to get them more familiar with their body from a pro, come through. That's a fact. Come through. Elite Wide Receiver Academy. That's a fact. 
Yeah. Now, y'all, you whatever, whatever, whatever else y'all want to say, I'm gonna read a few more comments, but we here for a couple minutes. Um, you know, we doing the next show. I want to do some shout outs too. Uh, we doing the next show on Sunday. I want to shout out to Yolanda Cancel. Um, she, I think she ran for city councilwoman or mayor. She might have ran for mayor. Um, but shout out to Yolanda Con Council. She came through today and purchased the big woman that I did, my cosmic goddess. She came through and purchased a piece today. I wanted to shout her out. It's gonna go in into her. Um, she has a juicing spot where uh, I guess Daryl Moss. He also um goes there and they do live um, they do the spoken word poetry. So I'm gonna shout her out right now because she came through and supported. And that if if anybody else has any art needs, y'all let me know. I'm taking I'm taking all uh, I'm taking all comers. I got some time, so I'm looking for some more murals. If anybody needs some murals done, I can accommodate any budget. Uh, and I'm I'm looking I'm 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 still got the mirrors. If y'all interested in the mirror, let me know. Um, so yeah, yeah. shout out to, shout out to Yolanda Cancel though because she came through today in a big way. In a big yeah. way. Um, let me see what's the name of it. Shit, what was it? Hold on, she's not on here. I don't even know where it's at. You got anybody you want to shout out, bro? I could shout out. Um, I don't know too many people. You know what I mean? Um, rip. Uh, shout out. Uh, coolest nobody. My man KP out in Atlanta doing his thing. Okay. Um, you know, killing it. You know. With photography. Breezeways Wellness. That's what it is. She just shouted us out. Breezeways Wellness. Gym Physical Fitness Center. Um, they got they do juicing. So they got something coming up. It's Breezeways Fitness. It's actually a 1865 Page Boulevard, Springfield. Um, and they got fitness classes, they got guidance, and honestly, they got some another juice spot. You can get unhealthy um drinks there and healthy drinks there. Um, shout out to Self Juices. Self Juices. I went over there on Bay Street. I checked them out. Go over there and get the um the cat, the black cat in the hat. That shit is crack juice. Get two of those, and you could do fifty push-ups that night. Yeah. Going shout out to Self Street, Juices. Man. Shout out to Breezeway. Um. Shout out to uh to Breezeway Wellness. And she told me to shout them out, and I want to shout them out. If y'all want to see my piece that she bought, they're going to be displaying it in Breezeways Wellness. So y'all can go over there and check out that painting I did. It came out beautiful. She's gorgeous. Got a few more of them coming. Um, Let me see. We got some more comments. Hold on. Letitia. Oh, no. Sherry. Hi. Shout out to Sherry Williams. She said, one of my patients spoke to my true potential. He spoke of my gifts that I must share with the world. He told me to go to church that Sunday, and I will have my answer. The message was about Joseph and how he was most loved by his father and his brothers tried to kill him. Long story short, you can kill the dreamer, but you can't kill the dream. We are given gifts that we must share with the world and should die empty vessels because, we, because we've given our gifts. Coming to find out he was a prophet. Pete, now that's dope. That's dope. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. We are given gifts that we must share with the world and should... Die empty vessels because we've given our gifts. Shout out to yeah, Sherry on that. Shout out to Sherry. Man. That's a fact. Yes. Shout out to you and shout out to someone speaking to your potential. Shout out to Ev for working with the youth. Shout out to Shaughnessy working with the youth. Jerry got her thing popping. And all the great parents that's here on the live, if you love your children. Um... And if and if people... Sometimes people is not the best parents, but they not... You, like, I don't... I don't I feel like it's important not to just throw people away when they don't do some shit you don't like. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's a work in progress, so everybody she gets, deserves a chance to redeem themselves. You see what I'm saying? At least. You see what I'm saying? Because as long as they're not messing with children or doing no crazy funny shit, but people deserve a chance to redeem themselves because we all works in progress. I'm pretty... It was many times I did shit I knew I wasn't supposed to, and I was fucking shit up. And it, it took me to grow to realize. So I feel like people's not disposable. And we should all work on each other, help each other to get better. You know what I mean? Nah, real shit. And shout out to you, Letitia. Thank you for coming and blessing us with your presence. I really appreciate you getting on this live and, and giving giving your insight into how to be a winner and how to keep winning and continue to win at your own game for 19 years. Shout out to you. You got to do something for your 20th year anniversary. You got to do something for your 20th year anniversary. Yeah, that, that's a fact. That is a fact. Shout out to Letitia for being in business for 20 years. That's that's dope. That's amazing. And shout out to Jerry for doing the um 
your flowers. Hopefully you can come through, Jerry, and get on the show and talk a little bit. They would love to see your face. Um, shout out to Mia for for running the Ratchet Hippie Show. You know, let me know. I share it on my platforms. Um, when you gonna be back in there? Let me know any any way you need support. You need a logo, something, however you need. Let me know. Shout out to Go for checking in. Shout out to Dennis. Shout out to Pudge. Uh, Sheena, as always, keep going. Please don't stop with the hair. Shout out to Chris D. Williams. Shout out to uh Cedric. Shout out to Seti. Um, shout out to Mike Gibbs. Shaughnessy, as always. And Richard Scott, he jumped on at the beginning. Yeah, my bro came through early. But, um, nah, that's pretty much all we got. It was a great show. It was uplifting. Uh, I, yo, thank you for coming through, bro. I appreciate you. I really appreciate you coming through. That shit. That was a good bill. It's always a good bill. <laughs> it was always a good bill with me and Ab, though. Yeah, Ab is my brother. He can ask me for anything. I give it to him. His hands down. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to uh, you shout out to you for coming through. But shout out to y'all for rocking with us on this live too. Um, I believe we had like fifteen, maybe twenty people. I don't know how high we got, but y'all, um, we respect y'all. We love y'all. We gonna see y'all Sunday for the Glass Table Show Sunday wrap up. There's gonna be more laughs, more jokes, and more sex talk after dark. So you already know how we do. <laughs> shout out to y'all. We kept it PG this time. It was PG thirteen. We didn't get too crazy this time. No sex topic. Charlie's not here this time. So, you know, when you, you know, to be so way, but, uh, shout out to y'all. We're going to see y'all Sunday. Peace.